Good morning! Today we're going to have a look at how you add a noise modifier to your animation track in the sequencer. Not only can you use this for camera shake, but you can also use it for almost anything that is keyable in the sequencer, such as lights, objects, etc. Let's have a look! So just to give you a brief overview of the scene, I have a very simple background and a animated, not meta-human, but an animated character from iClone. This is one of the standard characters from Character Creator 4. The camera I'm using has a look at tracker, which is linked to this focus tracker. As you can see here, when I move this up and down or left to right, you can see that the camera moves along with it. I've dragged this focus tracker actor down to the sequencer so I can animate it. If we toggle down the transform, we have the location, rotation and scale values for the X, Y and Z axis. If we play around with these values, we can move the tracker around, just as normal, nothing special here. However, this is the interesting part. If you click the little plus icon here, you can add an additive layer. Let's rename this additive layer to camera shake. Now, if we toggle down the transform again, then go down to the location, you can right click on the keyable track. So you can either do one at a time. So you can click one and then hold shift and click the bottom one. And let's select all of them. Right click and override with Perlin noise. Now we have a Perlin noise applied to just, to just this specific additive layer. This additive layer you can uh, trim in and out, kind of like you would a normal clip. You can then select the channels you want to modify, right click and go up to Perlin Noise Channels. Here you have the settings for the frequency, the amplitude and the offset. If you use Blender you are probably familiar with these values coming from the noise modifier in Blender's animation timeline. So let's trim this additive layer down and if you hover your mouse up in the right hand corner you will see this S icon up here. This is the fade in and fade out for this additive layer. And now we first have the camera just standing still and then the shake comes in, shakes up the camera a bit and then fades out uh, slowly once again. Now you can use this Perlin noise modifier on almost all uh, keyable tracks. For this next example we're going to add some noise to a light. So let's drag and drop the uh, spotlight we use as the key light for this character down into the sequencer. Here you already have the intensity slider which you can keyframe but if you instead right click and go up to override with Perlin noise you can override the track with Perlin noise. So you can have the light flicker on and off. Or you can add some flicker on top of the uh, already existing intensity by using an additive layer. You can of course use these other ones such as the absolute and relative depending on your animation. I suggest playing around with these to see what they do. So the frequency changes how fast the curve changes direction from up and down. The amplitude changes the overall amount of the curve. So less amplitude makes the effect more subtle. And the higher the value on the amplitude, the more prominent the effect becomes. And then you also have the offset, which is basically a phase slider that moves the effect back and forth on the timeline. And then add the fade in effect once again 
by hovering up in the corner until you see the little S icon appear. And then let's right click the camera shake and unmute so we can see the effect together once again. So you can have a look at the curve down in the sequencer to see what it's doing. And that's great. So there we have the final effect. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and get use out of the noise modifier for your upcoming projects. I use this noise modifier almost all the time in every sequence I do. It's such a valuable time server to have, in, so you don't have to keyframe all values just to add some dynamic animations to your cinematic. As always, let me know if you come up with any cool cinematics or renders using this technique by uh, tagging me in your videos. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.